Welcome back to Cats and Cocktails. Today we have two limited edition Veil vodkas. So we have the Veil Cranberry and Lime vodka, and we also are going to do the Pumpkin limited edition vodka. I think uh, for the sake of safety, we're going to start with the Cranberry and Lime. That sounds a little safer <laughs> to try than the pumpkin. Uh, I'm a little reserved about the pumpkin. So they're both 35% uh, alcohol by volume. So they're both 70 proof, uh, but we're gonna give this one a shot first. So we're gonna see if I can get that open. Hey, I did. So I'm gonna try this first uh, warm and then I'll try it over ice. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think that smells like cranberry. That might be a hint of lime. Hey buddy, come here. That is, um, it's an intriguing flavor. We're gonna, we're gonna put that over that. So, forgive me. This tastes a little bit like soap to me. Uh, that, Tastes like soap. That ice cube got stuck. Hmm. I don't want it attacking my face. Um, so cold cranberry lime, limited edition. Um, there's a there's a hint more. There's a bit more of that the sour hint that I think is supposed to be the lime, but it could be cranberry. Cranberries have that tartness. That tastes a little bit less like soap. Hmm. It's a little bit better cold. Less soapy cold. Ah, uh, still not. Awesome. But that is 70 proof, so. Hey, okay. So. That leaves us with the pumpkin, which I am now a little bit more intrigued by. Ooh, and I got that one open too. Very special. Okay. That smells like pumpkin. Okay, all right, surprising me. That's good. Little baby boy, little baby boy. You are being an ornery little, little bugger. Okay, that actually smells like pumpkin. Mmm, you wanna smell that? He does not approve of the pumpkin smell. I'm sorry, buddy. That was okay. I didn't, I didn't know you'd hate it that much. That, that tastes like pumpkin. This, I, so my head is immediately going to, it, this could be an interesting rendition in an alcoholic pumpkin juice. If you wanted to do something Harry Potter themed, because that is where my head is always going to go first uh, for something that's like a, like a pumpkin juice, but it smells like pumpkin. It tastes a little bit like pumpkin. We're going to let you go. Mm. So we're going to try that. We're going to try a bit of that. Cold. All right. We're going to cover that up so it doesn't accidentally get spilled. Now you know why. Mm. So the pumpkin flavor comes through more when it's warm. All right, let me pour a little bit more in this glass because I'm going to need additional flavor. Okay, so we're going to stir that up. We're going to ignore them making a mess of my table over there off screen. So you're still getting pumpkin flavor. That is nice. I mean, cold is just nice. Mm. You're still getting, you're still getting pumpkin. I, the pumpkin flavor is stronger, warm. You still get good pumpkin flavor on ice. It tastes a little bit sweeter, chilled to me. Tastes, I, don't, I think a little bit more that, that sweetness is coming through too. And I don't know what's going on with that, with the ice. That's interesting. Hmm. 
I like that. That's good. This this pumpkin. So I did not I did not think that the pumpkin one was going to be the winner here. I thought the cranberry lime was going to be the winner. I think the cranberry lime tastes like soap. Not super thrilled with that. But this pumpkin one is really nice. I'm enjoying this. It has a it has that that sweetness. Definitely tastes like pumpkin. This is good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give this cranberry lime one. We're gonna pour a little bit more in there. See if it watered down a bit with the ice. Give it another swirl. So this is the cranberry lime. So I'm trying the, the cranberry lime one again. It's been sitting for a little bit. Swirl it in there. You know the smell that like, uh, what is it? Like club soda has, like you pour club soda and drink and it's alcoholic. And so this is just the, the cranberry lime on the rocks, but it smells, it has that club soda -y smell. I, maybe that's the lime that I associate that with it. Uh, cause that's what I drink, but it's not usually. So I, I don't know. Yep. Tastes like soap. I don't, I don't want that. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. So we are gonna go back to that pumpkin. That's delicious. This is good. This is, I mean, that's not just winter baked good either. This is, it's just nice. Mm. Mm. I'm a glutton for punishment. We're gonna try the cranberry lime one more time. I just, I'm offended. I'm not offended, that's a terrible word. Everybody uses that word too much. We're not, we're not gonna use that word for this. I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset. Let's use the real word. I'm upset that the cranberry lime isn't what I wanted it to be. The more it's watered down, the less offensive it is. the less upsetting it is. Hmm. I don't know. It's okay. It's better. The pumpkin is better. Just that's, that's nice. If you want something pumpkin flavored, that is a nice pumpkin flavor. That is what you expect. It smells the way you expect. It tastes the way you expect it to taste in your taste buds. That's just nice. This, it, it didn't smell right. It didn't taste right. The two are probably linked. I think we learned that somewhere in science class. Do not recommend. Um, unless whatever is happening here is something that you like. I don't know what that is. I, I don't understand this. No. Okay. All right. Well, so that's my review. I, I recommend the pumpkin. I do not recommend the cranberry lime. The pumpkin is actually pumpkin. So there you are. There you have it. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful to you guys. If there's anything you want me to review, drop in the comments below and we'll go from there. Have a great day. Ciao.